Have you ever wondered why some individuals seem to have an uncanny ability to manipulate others for their own benefit? This brings us to the enigmatic realm of dark psychology, a concept that delves deep into the murkier aspects of human behavior. Dark psychology is not an officially recognized term in the traditional field of psychology, yet its existence cannot be denied. It encompasses the study of the darker aspects of our nature, those hidden corners of the human psyche often shrouded in mystery and apprehension. It's a study of how some individuals, driven by personal gain or a quest for power, use psychological principles in harmful ways. This field of study is not about the occasional white lie or a harmless trick played on a friend. It's about calculated manipulation, deceit and coercion. It's about individuals who, knowingly or unknowingly, employ psychological tactics to exert control and influence over others. The realm of dark psychology is vast and diverse. It covers a wide range of behaviors and tactics from narcissism characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance to Machiavellianism marked by manipulation and deceit and psychopathy identified by impulsivity and lack of empathy, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. Dark psychology also delves into social influence tactics, emotional manipulation, deception, trickery and aggressive behavior. It seeks to understand how these techniques are used to gain compliance, control emotions, mislead or even cause harm. It's crucial to remember that dark psychology is not a tool for labeling individuals or making sweeping generalizations. It's a study, an exploration, a quest to understand the potential for harm and the mechanisms of manipulation. It's about developing strategies to protect ourselves and others from exploitation and recognizing the signs of these tactics in action. However, the use of these tactics for harmful purposes is unethical and can have serious consequences. Dark psychology, while intriguing, is a complex and multifaceted area of study that requires a nuanced understanding. So let's delve deeper into this enigma, shedding light on the darkness and unraveling the mysteries of the human mind. At the heart of dark psychology lies the dark triad, narcissism, Machiavellianism and psychopathy. Let's delve into each of these components. First up is narcissism, a trait characterized by an inflated sense of self-importance, a deep-seated craving for admiration and a glaring lack of empathy. Picture someone who views themselves as the sun around which all other planets revolve. The narcissist believes they're special and superior, often leading to a sense of entitlement and disregard for the feelings and needs of others. Then we have Machiavellianism, named after the infamous Italian political philosopher Niccolo Machiavelli, famed for his treatise on ruthless pragmatism. Individuals high in Machiavellian traits are masters of manipulation and deceit. Morality doesn't guide their actions. Instead, they're driven by personal gain, no matter the cost to others. They're strategic, calculating, and unafraid to exploit others to achieve their ends. Finally, we come to psychopathy, perhaps the most chilling of the triad. Those with psychopathic traits are characterized by impulsivity, a lack of empathy, and remorseless behavior. They're adept at mimicking emotions without truly experiencing them, which makes them highly effective at manipulation. Their impulsivity and disregard for the rights of others can often lead to antisocial behavior. So how do these traits come together? When woven into a person's character, they create a potent mix that can significantly enhance their capacity for manipulation and deceit. A person exhibiting the dark triad traits can skillfully navigate social landscapes, exerting control and influence over others, often for personal gain or power. They're able to exploit the vulnerabilities of others, manipulate emotions, and twist perceptions to serve their purposes. It's important to note that not everyone who exhibits these traits is a villain straight out of a psychological thriller. These traits exist on a spectrum in all of us. What matters is how they're harnessed. While they can certainly be used for harmful purposes, understanding and acknowledging their existence can be the first step towards safeguarding against manipulation and deceit. These traits, while disturbing, are critical to understanding the mechanisms behind dark psychology. Beyond the dark triad, other aspects of dark psychology come into play. Delving deeper into the shadowy realm of dark psychology, we encounter social influence tactics. 
These are techniques designed to gain compliance, ranging from persuasion to coercion and even mind control. Imagine a puppet master pulling the strings, subtly guiding actions and decisions, often without the puppet even realizing it. Next, we come across emotional manipulation. This involves the control or exploitation of others' emotions, a tactic that can be as subtle as a guilt trip or as damaging as gaslighting or emotional blackmail. Picture someone playing a heart like a piano, plucking at strings of guilt, fear or love to create a symphony of their own design. Then there's deception and trickery. This aspect of dark psychology involves techniques used to mislead or misinform others, such as lying or spreading propaganda. It's like a magician performing a sleight of hand, distracting with one hand while the other alters reality. Lastly, we can't overlook aggressive behavior. This includes both verbal and physical aggression used to intimidate or harm others. It's the clenched fist or the sharp word wielded like a weapon to control and dominate. The common thread running through these tactics is control. It's about exerting influence over others, manipulating their actions, their emotions and their perceptions of reality. But why? Often it's for personal gain or power. It's about taking the driver's seat in someone else's life, steering them towards one's own objectives. Remember these tactics are not tools for everyday use. They are ethically questionable, potentially damaging, and in many cases, downright illegal. But they do exist, and they are used. They form the arsenal of those who practice dark psychology. Knowledge, as they say, is power. By understanding these tactics, we can arm ourselves against them, develop defenses, and learn to recognize when we're being manipulated or exploited. These tactics, while ethically questionable, form the arsenal of individuals who practice dark psychology. Why should we study dark psychology given its disturbing implications? This question may linger in your mind as we delve into the darker aspects of human nature. The answer is simple yet profound. Knowledge is power and understanding dark psychology arms us with the tools to protect ourselves and others from its potential harm. Imagine walking into a room blindfolded, not knowing what lies in the corners or who's in there with you. That's how we navigate our social interactions without understanding dark psychology. It's a realm filled with manipulation, deception and coercion, and without awareness we're vulnerable to these tactics. So, how does understanding dark psychology help us? Well, it's like turning on a light in that dark room. It helps us see the tactics employed to control, influence and exploit. It allows us to recognize the signs of emotional manipulation, such as guilt-tripping or gaslighting and empowers us to resist these tactics. Furthermore, understanding dark psychology cultivates self-awareness. It's a mirror reflecting our own behaviors and emotions, helping us identify possible dark traits within ourselves. This awareness is crucial in fostering empathy and compassion, qualities that counteract the dark triad traits of narcissism, Machiavellianism, and psychopathy. Critical thinking is another skill honed through studying dark psychology. It equips us to question, to analyze, and to discern the truth from deception. It's our intellectual shield against propaganda and trickery, strengthening our resilience against manipulative tactics. Finally, understanding dark psychology helps us establish and maintain healthy boundaries in relationships. It guides us in identifying when someone is crossing those boundaries through manipulation or coercion. It's our compass, directing us towards respect and mutual understanding in our interactions with others. While dark psychology presents a grim view of human nature, understanding it can empower us to better navigate our social interactions and relationships. Remember, the goal of studying dark psychology isn't to label or judge others, but to illuminate the dark corners of human behavior, fostering a safer, more understanding world. In conclusion, dark psychology unveils the darker side of our nature. It peels back the curtain on the unsettling aspects of human behavior, exposing the potential for manipulation, deception and coercion. We've delved into the dark triad, an unholy trinity of narcissism, Machiavellianism and psychopathy, each characterized by a distinct and disturbing array of traits. We also explored other facets of dark psychology, from social influence tactics to emotional manipulation, deception and trickery and aggressive behavior. This exploration is not meant to label individuals, but to illuminate the potential for harm. Understanding dark psychology is crucial in today's world. It arms us with the knowledge to recognize when we're being manipulated or exploited, 
enabling us to protect ourselves and maintain healthy boundaries in our relationships. It's a tool for empowerment, a shield against the darker aspects of human nature. Remember, knowledge is power. By understanding dark psychology, we equip ourselves with the tools to recognize and combat manipulative and exploitative behavior.